morning. Hello and welcome to my daily blog of life on a beef and arable farm. Um, first day back from Lama, absolutely fantastic time we had yesterday. Um, and I'm straight into the ground running. We're getting in the scan here and we're taking some cow. Andy's here, look. Morning, Andy. Right, I'm gonna get in the lorry now and um, get set off for these guys. Andy's gonna get on the feeder or straw blower or something. Yeah, I'm gonna get on that job to do that business. We're on it. Off we go. The next few shots might be, be coming back in the yard. So I've just stopped off at Ripon Farm Services because at Lammer we didn't see any John Deers. So we ought to just see if there is actually any here. Well, I say we didn't see any, we did see two or three, but um, didn't have a stand from John Deere. Some big beasts in here. A 6R 250. A 155. One, 145, is that a new one? Is that like the six cylinder? Hmm. Well, someone let me know what that is. Is that a new model? Then some smaller ones down this end, 5125. That is uh, some weight block on front of there. Jeez. And a blue one in the back. So I got back in the yard now. Andy's here walking across. He's been thinking about doing a mix. So we're going to get on the TM, the M washed the other day, um, and get the rest of the feeding dump. So we're just on with the spreader bale now, putting this out. Drawing these guys up, as we do every morning. Andy's just tipping the mix off now. And I've just fetched out the coffees, which for me is so well needed. Like, I feel like I've got a two day hangover. I'm absolutely knackered, but it'll be all right. This will sort me out. So we've got the class back in the yard now, fetching us a bit more barley. Arian 650, class went at Lammer. So we've got to see John Deere today and class. Both, at, both of which, sorry, um, were not at Lammer uh, this year. I don't think Case was there either. Didn't see Kubota either. I don't think it's the only Kubotas. Oh, was it? Oh, Andy says it was. To be honest though, I think we missed quite a bit of it. I think I missed most of it. Just chatted all Somebody said there were like a demonstration area, did you see that? Yeah, that's like the CR. Oh, right. Oh. It's good though, it's honestly, like, <laughs> next year, um, if it's on and like, there's no HDB thing, I'm just even going to go down and do the same again. So I really enjoyed it. It's all inside, it's clean. It's like, it doesn't matter what weather we're because it's absolutely raining. Um, it was good, so yeah. Right, we've got to get some shoring up done anyway, because um, yeah, I wasn't here this morning <coughs> and didn't have anybody to open the gate, so we're a bit behind now. And, yeah, Ben's finished. Yeah. Andy's got a wet bale to pick up now. Um, probably one of the worst ones that we could pick up. It's bit more difficult let's see if he gets this in oh he's a professional you got two Andy nearly a professional anyway it does look well the JCB and it's new washed colors Goodness. so Andy somebody's just I've just read a comment from yesterday's video we're kicking off at, I was in the sheep crate and let I let it tip me over and yeah, 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 and they're saying it's like irresponsible that somebody with 15k subscribers should be doing that, um, potentially dangerous and all that kind of thing. I think that that was sort of a, one along the lines of a comment. But it's not, it's not a dangerous piece of equipment, and if a sheep's got to go in it, you know, it's just quite good that we can show that it's not hurting a person, it's not hurting a sheep. Yeah, well, there is that side know, to it, but for just... the general public, they look at it and go, boom, it squashes a sheep. Yeah, it sounded nasty, like real, like, nasty, like, yeah. yeah. Oh, but, like, you know. Look You've like answered that quite well. You don't actually, look like Andy. you're covered in bruises, do you? No, no, so, I'm fine. Totally yeah. fine today. Yeah, that's good. Almost, I'm not. I'm tired, but I'm totally fine. 
But like, oh, just live life, man. Like, don't li don't go through life moaning. Just live it. Have a laugh. Like, it's, it's fun. It's just fun content. We're not trying to like. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Whatever. What pe what do people think? Let us know in comments. But I thought we were just having a laugh. Anyway, me and Andy are at the straw stack. We're gonna get the digger into the field. So we've got a drain that we need to um, dig up because we think it's bunged up somewhere. And we haven't got long enough drainage rods to get it to the point. Well, it needs a manhole basically in it, but the digger's gonna sort the job. So we'll get the beast started up. So will she start? She's old. Oh! First turn of the key because she's an absolute beast. And Joe had to go over the water pipe there, as you can see. Didn't want to damage it. She's making a bit of a mess at field, isn't she? Oh, can't tell you anywhere, No, no, it's a nightmare. As you can see, it's very, very wet, but we need to get this fixed. Uh, Andy and M spent a long time digging with spades yesterday, and yeah, they decided it was better to get the digger out. So this is where I need to dig to get to the drain. <laughs> See what Andy and Emma have done a little bit of uh, get a bit more out. So we've just got down to it now. Uh, Andy's going to get the shovels and put a bit more in um, by hand so we don't damage the pipe. And then we'll get a manhole bought, sink that in, and then um, we shouldn't have the same issue again. It'll just be able to sort it. Oh, nearly. Did you see that? <laughs> We're on the moors here. It is very windy. So I've just been collecting cattle from this beautiful place in the world. Right, I'm back in the yard now. Me and Andy are going to try and sort this drain out. Um, uh, it's not looking good. I think it's collapsed under the shed, so we might have to redig it all out at some point. Although we think water is running down it a little bit. So here we have the pipe. So that's um, it just. Took um, roof water comes down. Um, I've obviously smashed it a bit when we've been digging for it. I'm guessing just have to replace that. But we're looking for the for the uh, rods to come through. Oh, you here? Hang on. Yeah, you come, come through. So I better just get this beast out of here. Made a mess of this grass here, but what else can we do? Oh, she's a filthy beast now. But I think I got it out of the field. I said just in time because it's already wet out there, but it's just started raining here, so maybe uh, it could have been worse than it was. So yeah, we'll get that out. We've got to feed up. My brother's here now, so that makes things a little bit easier. Can you hear him? Some of these guys are a bit hungry, so. We're gonna have to start feeding round, I think. So it's not these guys who've been here a long time. It's these newer ones. We just feed them a little bit of barley, then they have all the hay that they can eat, which is over there. So, how are we all doing, hey? Yeah, you're coming to see me, aren't you? Because you want your dinner. Oh, you're all nice to me when you want your dinner, aren't you? Hey? They are lovely. Oh, he's back again. Yes, there you go. Okay, yeah. It's probably can smell the drains. I've had my hands in the drain trying to clean it out because Andy was rolling it through. Um, yeah, let's get these cows fed. Anyway, let's stop talking about beast if you're behind this because they're stinking horrible stuff. Right, anyway. Hi, Ben. Are you okay? Yeah. Ben's been messing with drainage rods. The dog's worse. <laughs> yeah, your wife is not going to be happy. So, just going around, feeding everywhere. Making sure these guys aren't too hungry. And Andy's on 
cleaning the mixture for me. So Ben's just down there feeding out a few pens for us on the TM while I get busy with something else. So it's time to do mix dimensions a little bit for the Yorkshire Air Ambulance. And today it's a happy birthday to Thomas Bassey, that's love from Iris and Sally, and Craig Murphy, the big 5-0. So congratulations on that, Craig, and uh, I hope you've had a great birthday and anybody else whose birthday it is today. Have a good one. Business. So Ben's just getting last few bits of meal. I'm back in the 7530 in. Uh, first thing in the morning will be a mix. Well, I think we're going to get finished. We're getting towards the end of the day. Um, we've not fixed that drain completely. It looks like we're going to actually have to dig up under the shed, which it's not got concrete under it, so it's not like a major, major issue. And we've got the digger, so it's not the end of the world, but it's a job that we didn't really want to have to do, um, if possible. But you know what? Things happen. Things go wrong, don't they, Andy? Yeah, constantly. So it's pulled us down a little bit today. Also, I've been a little bit tired and um, yeah, it's just been one of them, one of them days. I'm still feeling good. If I'm answering as a percent, I'm going to say like 80%, eight, 75 to 80%. But you know what? Let us know how you are feeling in the comments below. Um, if you've liked today's video, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you've not already. I'm going to go and check out what these guys are doing because I thought we would have gone by now. But yeah, thanks for joining guys. Bye. You guys finished now? No. Sure? How do you feel as a percent out of 100, Ben? 80. 80. How do you feel, Andy, out of 100? I don't look 80, though, do I? I was making 90. an 80 Sorry. response. You're 90 but, today? Yeah. Oh, you're buzzing then, aren't you? Yeah. Hey? Really. I'm the lowest. I'm, I'm 75 to 80. So, yeah. Mm. Right, yeah. Remember to answer as a percent. Anyway, we're off. Tati bye!